welcome to Missouri Star Live with Jenny and Hi, me, Misty. We're so glad you guys could be here with us on this fabulous Tuesday. So we're, uh, we're, we're excited to be here and we're happy that you're here. And so let's see where people are tuning in from, shall we? Yeah. So we have Carrie from Rainy, Georgia, Stacy from Phoenix. I got to give a shout out to Is that the Stacy Crispin Hughes. from uh, Oregon? I, I shouldn't have said the last name. The Stacy in Phoenix. We, did you used to live in Oregon? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, Melissa's watch. Our customer service team is watching. Hello. Hi, guys. Thanks service. for all you do out there Thank in customer you so service. Much. We have awesome customer service. Yes, we do. You guys should just call them because they're just really nice. <laughs> if you have a problem, I'm they trying will be to happy say also to help you. Before I'm getting so rudely interrupted. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> sorry. Is a uh, Houston, Texas. It Houston? was number one. It was the first comment oh, today. Oh, nice. Bernadette from Scotland, though. Wow. That's cool. Even Welcome. even the name Bernadette is cool. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's awesome. Very, very good. Well, we are excited to have you guys here. We have a, a couple of fun little projects. Um, as we've mentioned the past couple times, we have our glamper retreat coming up. And you're fixing up your very own glamper, right? Well, if you don't know what a glamper is, it's glamorous camping. Yes. My so, kind of camping. <laughs> so, actually, not my kind of camping. <laughs> so when Ron and I got married, I told him we were going to go camping and he, and he for our honeymoon. Uh -huh. And he said, he said, all right, I'll see if I can borrow my parents' camper. And I said, no, we will not use a camper. We will be tent camping. And he says, he looks at me and he goes, my idea of roughing it is Motel 6. <laughs> so I'm like all about the camper. And so we didn't. I taught him how to tent camp and hike camp. And um, we, we uh, of course, then when you have seven kids, you only camp. Yes. Uh, so now the glamper thing is all the rage. And they're actually those, you know, campers that are, they tend to color. They're the vintage yeah. campers. Yes. And people redo them, and they redo them amazing. Yeah, all these fun different themes. Yeah, and so we had some so last cute. year. So um, for the Glamper Retreat, um, so when we put a retreat up online, yeah, it sells out just like that. People can't even hardly get into it. Yeah. And this one has not sold out. Which is interesting. But I think people think they have to have a glamper. Right. Which they don't. You don't. So we have about eight or nine glampers coming, probably nine with mine. Yeah. And one of the things you get to do is you get to tour them one night. Yes, and they so are fun. amazing. So I'm working on mine. I probably still have paint uh, somewhere. We <laughs> painted yesterday. Um, the outside may not be done, but the inside will be pretty close. Yeah. But anyway, what's happening is, um, so there's like, there's like a bunch of spots available for this retreat. So if you've been wanting to come to a Missouri Star retreat yes. um, uh, with your girlfriends, this is a great one to come to. First of all, um, you get to see all the glampers and um, my glamper, which is really cool. The retreat is happening May 29th through June 1st. 29th through June 1st. Yep. So we got we got a question of what color, what color paint? Oh. Oh, uh, my glamper? Yeah. It's just white inside. Just but, but that's because the magic is yet to come, right? Well, that, <laughs> that's because I always do a plain palette because I'm so colorful and eclectic in what I like. But I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. Yeah. I just want to get this retreat information out there because um, it's coming in a couple of weeks and it'll be really great to yes. have uh, more people there. So we have... Bev McCullough, is that right? Yes, Bev McCullough from Riley Blake. She's coming to teach some and classes. She, and she's a designer, and she's teaching classes. And um, and the kits for the classes are actually included in your registration. Yes, a really cute apron and a pillowcase. Yeah, so an uh, apron and a pillowcase, and those come with your registration. So if you've just wanted to come to one, or you're dying to go to Missouri, and you want to spend the night, you know, I mean, yeah. it's a great way to come. They're about super, three, day, uh, super three days. Super fun, yeah. Lots of fun, and I love the glamper one because those glampers are so cute. Adorable. So here's what's happening with my glamper. We have this old little glamper, and we um, we wanted to take out the cupboard. You know how they have those top kind of weird cupboards? We took one out. Well, then we had to take out the whole wall. Then we took out the wall, and two things fell off the ceiling. Oh, so no. then we had to replace the ceiling. So now we have the ceiling, the walls. The one wall is replaced. And, um, and I'm actually going to move some furniture in instead of doing built-ins. Oh, cute. Yeah, so we've got it painted white. We're going to put some fun furniture in there. And there's going to be, you know, we left the, the bed thing in there. So there's going to be a quilt. There's going to be a ton of pillows. And one of, one of the things we're going to show you today is how to make this, this cute pillow. Also, we're going to do curtains. Now, curtains for, um, curtains for a glamper are the same as curtains you're going to make anywhere. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. made all the curtains for all my houses all my life. Yep. And uh, and so they're really easy. It's real straight sewing. It's a real simple thing to do. And so, um, you know, this I'm just going to show you how to do that, and we're going to do that real quick. Awesome. So um, 
Well, actually, it won't be real quick. It'll take a few minutes, but it's ba- it's so it's, it's such yeah. easy sewing. Simple stuff. You know. So, right. uh, so what do you want to do first, pillow or curtains? You get to choose. Let's do the curtains. Wait. What? Can we uh, introduce we have some questions. our special our special guest? <gasps> we have a special guest. Yes. Say, say hi, Ezra. Hi. My little Ezra is is helping behind the camera today. Today was the last day of school. Can so. somebody like pan and show him? This is my little grandson, Ezra. <laughs> Ezra, wave to the camera. Wave, say hi. If you've seen, he's done a tutorial this is before. Us. This is behind the scenes. When he was, when yeah, he was when about he was four when he old. was four, he did a tutorial. Yeah. And uh, he's he's kind of famous. He's got like thirty thousand <laughs> views. Yeah. So, so. He, he's helping Dad run. <laughs> run the switcher today so thanks as for being here <laughs> all right he all says. right he says okay <laughs> we're gonna dive right into the curtains then okay sound good so i actually have the old curtains and if you are anywhere near my age you remember this fabric <laughs> <laughs> so take a look at this fabric i actually had a jumper made out of this in blue <laughs> and pink you i'm did? just saying yes <laughs> Yes, I was a big jumper wearer. It's true, I remember that. And, uh, and I had had two colors made out of this. This was a very popular fabric. And uh, and a lot of people have this in their stash. I'll bet money people have this in their stash. Anyway, so these are the old curtains I took out from the glamper. And um, we've made one over here out of this, this fabric. So this is kind of a fun, uh, has lots of sewing implements on it. Yeah, fun notions. Like this. And... So, um, Misty, did you cut this to size? Uh, this one is ready to go. <gasps> yeah, to match oh my gosh. this one. So let me tell you how you actually make um, uh, curtains for your window. So basically, you're going to want to measure the, the length that you want it. Now, some people want, oh, I have like a, there we go, a little hair in my watch band. <laughs> I hate that. I'm so you're watching. Yeah, you're like, oh. Distracted. Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. You know. Anyway, um, so if you're, if you're uh, making curtains for a window, what you want to do is you want to measure the length you want them. It may be longer than your window, yes. you know, and, um, but if you want to, you know, my, in my camper, I'm just going to do a window length. You're going to add about an inch on the bottom for a hem and you're going to add about mm, three inches on the top mm. so that you can fold it over and slide the rod through. So it, that makes the rod pocket. Yeah. So whatever your length is, what, what do you need, honey? Sorry. I got to give one more call out. We have a <laughs> We have My a cowgill. Jacob is so talkative. We have a cowgill. A cowgill. Cow and it's grandma. Grandma's <gasps> oh, on. Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> oh, that's my gosh. Awesome. That's so cool. That's so fun. So, anyway. Um, All right, back to the story. Back to the story. Yes, and my mother's on, so she can attest that I have made curtains for every place, every window we've ever had. It's you true. Know. <laughs> so, anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to measure the length you want, the finished length. And then you're going to add an inch for the hem and then three inches. So a total of four, four inches, inches. Yep. to your length. Now on your width, you want to measure the width of your window plus a half of it. So if your window is, is uh, 20, you're going to do 20 plus 10 inches. So you're going to do a 30 inch curtain so that has a little gather. Yep. Now if you, want, um, if you want them to open in the middle, of course you're going to divide that. Sometimes I will just double the width, especially if I'm going to divide them, you know, so they have enough, uh, enough hang, they'll, yeah. they'll reach back into the middle. The little curtains in the camper just go straight across. So Misty, can you make sure that our iron is heated up yes, over there? I can. Because the ironing is a big part of what we're doing today. I think it's ready to go. All right, I'm just going to set these somewhere. Somewhere. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the hem on the bottom, which means what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up a quarter of an inch and just up one more a quarter of an inch. Now this is a simple, a simple camper curtain. So if you're making a curtain that's lined, basically you'll, you'll put right sides together and sew all the way around this and then flip it and it will be lined. Right. But mine is just going to be one, uh, one piece of fabric. And, uh, and so we're just gonna iron this. Okay. And um, I'm gonna go ahead, is there a top and bottom? Always make sure. I followed, I don't know if there really is, but I made the sewing machines be upright, these ones, see how they, Oh, okay. so that I made that the top. Okay. Just chose to follow the sewing machine. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead, and uh, actually on all three sides, we're gonna iron it over, like this, a quarter of an inch, all the way around. And I'm just going, I'm just guessing, so. Uh, you know, I'm not measuring. It looks a little bit, a little bit bigger than a quarter. 
um, which won't really matter. And we're going to do it one more time over. And we're going to do this on the sides and the bottom. And so here, I got one side done. Awesome. And then I'm going to come around here to the this side over here. <laughs> Yesterday. So we have this, um, this woolen mat up here. And I love these woolen mats. They're so nice mm -hmm. to iron on. But the... Um, Yesterday I was sewing at home, working on some tutorials for you, and uh, Misty, you're disappearing off oh, the screen. Sorry. She's she's never ironed before, Mom. Oh, so you mean you want me to let her iron? She's good. <laughs> <laughs> she's fine. Um, so I was working at uh, from home yesterday uh, on some tutorials, and I have one of these little woolen mats at home. And Natalie's steaming on it, and she goes, how come it smells like sheep in here? <laughs> yeah, it's true. You're not supposed to use steam on it, I don't think, because I noticed the same thing yesterday when I was working on the, the sample curtain. I was like, oh, well, it's kind of like sheep or wet dog. It's fine. Do you know, I don't, it doesn't bother me. You don't I notice don't, it? Mm -mm, I don't notice it. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, it smells like a barn in here. <laughs> and I'm like, huh. All right, so let me see here. I've got, there we go. There, yeah. Good. All right, so the ironing is not rocket science. Now, if it's not perfectly straight, that doesn't matter either because yeah. when it gathers, you don't see that. Yeah, it's forgiving. So um, it is forgiving. So go ahead and ask me any questions while I'm doing this because, uh, because I may not be covering something you need to know about curtains. And Somebody had the question of, so a camper is a glamper? A camper can be a glamper. Uh, yes. Yep. So, um, so if you've ever been in a regular camper, they're just um, kind of brown wood and um, uh, just kind of plain. Just kind of plain, you know. Yeah. And uh, and in the glampers, what they do? So they ha generally they have a theme. Mm -hmm. So there's one that comes and it's got a um, a cowboy theme, and the cowboy theme is really fun because they've they've uh in one of the bunks there's a mannequin dressed yes. up like a sheriff and he's sleeping and they have stuffed horses out in front like it's pulling it like it's a wagon yes. and they have cards on the table that they've cards that they put on the yeah, table like epoxy and then so epoxy on like, top yeah, so it looks so, like they just stopped in the middle of a poker hand, yeah around you know? a poker it's so fun and um uh and and uh, there's one that's all um pink flamingos and they have a flamingo, a flock of flamingos mm -hmm. out front, and they have one actually that's sadly, tragically been run over by a car, <laughs> and there's like tire marks across the flamingo and caution tape around him. I yeah. mean, they're just as cute yeah, as they can Yeah, they're just be. as clever as you can, you can be. They're there's, so cute. Yeah, there was one that was all antique furniture and lace, mm -hmm. and it was, oh my gosh, they're just so cute. So a glamper is just kind of fancy camping where you, where you really dress it up. All right, we got another question. All right, go ahead. What is it? So, someone asked, I was making a pillow. Are you making a pillow? Or are you guys making a pillow? Oh, we yes. are going to make a pillow. We are going to make a pillow as well. We're this going to do our curtains first and then a pillow. All right, so now I'm coming across the top, and I'm just turning this under once across the top. So just one little quarter inch fold across the top. And then I'm actually going to get my ruler out. Yeah. So I'm doing all my pressing first, and then I'll just be able to sit down and sew at the sewing machine. All right, so now I'm going to, this is my top right here, and I'm gonna fold this over, and we're gonna go over about, what would you say, two, two inches? inches? Yeah, I think that's what I did. Now, if, if you're, you're making, making a curtain to go with another, another curtain, it's important that they're the same length. Yes. So if you'll grab that curtain, we can Absolutely. lay it on here and see if it's the same length. I didn't cut these, Misty's cut these, so you don't have to pull it off. Oh, okay, yeah. well, too late. Here we go. All right, so hers is... All right, we're is... moving a little quick. We're moving a little quick. Okay. Let's go back over what you're doing here. So we've, we've turned under twice, both sides and the bottom edge. We've turned under the top just once. About it, we eyeballed a quarter of an inch. All right, so let's look at the overhead. Are we in the overhead camera right here? Yeah. Yeah, you're on the overhead right now. All right, now. so what I did was I turned this over a quarter of an inch and then one time again. And then we're going to sew straight around all three sides of this. On the top... I just ironed it one quarter because we are now going to iron this down about, what, what is it, about two inches? It should be about two. All right, so I'm going to take my little ruler, and this is where you, oh, I'm looking at the overhead camera. I'm like, <laughs> wait, people, where are you? Are you up there? Down there. Um, this is where you, uh, where you need, to need a ruler because you want to make sure your top, your top pocket is straight. 
So I'm going to put a pin in here, like over here on this way. And we're just gonna slide this along and make sure it stays two inches and pin it all the way across this. And then I'll show you what I do with this. Go ahead with that, Misty, move that down and pin all it again. Right. Sounds good. We'll, we'll team pin here. Okay. They're asking if this is going to make a ruffle on the top. It will make a ruffle. Um, well, actually, there's two ways to do it. Yeah. If you want to leave a little ruffle on the top, you're going to want to add another couple of inches. Um, where ours is going to be, uh, we're going to stitch along the top and stitch along the pocket, the rod pocket line, so it won't actually make a real ruffly ruffle, but it will be a, just a little... Just a little we'll tiny one. We'll just gather one. around the rod, really. Yeah, where is that? Oh, you, I oh. put it They also I asked if they were going to add, if you could add a backing to this to help with You some. can. So if you're going to add a backing, you just put your two pieces right sides together and sew all the way around it like you do on a, I don't know, just, you know, you just, like if you had a square, you're going to put your right sides, your two fabrics together right sides and sew all the way around it on three sides. Here's what it, and it looks that lines like it. at the end. Yeah, so this, so this is the little, this is just kind of a little ruffle right here, tiny. Yep. And it'll ruffle up as it goes. But if you want more of a ruffle up here on the top, you're just going to leave more fabric. Yep. And remember that it's an inch uh, on either side. So you'll want to add like two inches. All right. So now we're going to go to the sewing machine. And I'm going to sew down my sides across the bottom, up the other side. And then we're going to sew across the top. So... Right here, I'm gonna come over here to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna lay my, I'm gonna turn it on. <laughs> Turning it on is always good. Oh, look, we even have gray fabric, I mean gray thread. I know. That's the best. So I'm a kind of a lazy sewer, so I only sew with light or dark, I rarely match it. But if you're gonna do curtains, it is a good idea to match your thread. All right, so now I'm just gonna sew and I'm gonna, I'm just going to watch where my presser foot is so that, to make sure that it, I stay generally, kind of in a general straight line. All right. Is this pillow in the way? It might be. Let's move it. All right. So now I just came over the edge. I'm sewing to the bottom. Then I'm backing up to where the bottom folds in. And then I'm just going to sew across this bottom. All right, here we go. Wait for it. Are we come unthreaded? We're not unthreaded. We're just a little, little uh, wonky there. Okay. There we go. And the ironing, the ironing just zips this along. Yeah, I mean, once it does. you iron it, it's like, all right, it's just gonna lay right down there, and we can sew. Almost to the corner here, and I'm gonna lay lay my corner down. Make sure it's still folded right. So so like the wind. I know <laughs> it's true. You really can too. Looks good. It looks like a nice good stitch on there. All right now. All right, I'm just gonna sew right up this side. Curtains are so forgiving because, you know, they're not, it's not like straight panels of fabric. All right. So now, um, and I opened up that little edge so that I could get my, my little hand me that ruler. So I could sew all the way straight up here. Yep. And, um, and now I'm going to measure to make sure I'm still at two inches. And then what I'm going to do, you don't want to sew this side because that's where the pocket, that's where the rod goes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew, actually I'm going to press this so it lays down nice and flat. All right. So we're going to press in the two because I'm going to sew on this top little edge first and make that crease. And it'll work easier if I, if it's just pressed and laying so nice and flat. Mom, your iron's in the way. Can't see anything. Oh, and my pillow probably too. There we go. 
Thank you. Perfect. Oh, you are welcome. Now let me make sure this is still two. There we go. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew just like maybe, maybe an eighth of an inch in just right along this top edge. What that does is it helps keep that top pocket straight. If you're making a gathered skirt, which by the way, you do this the exact same way, except mm -hmm. you're going to sew this together. Make it a tube, yeah. You're going to make it a tube and you have a little skirt. Uh, but um, this right here, it's going to help it lay straight if, and it'll just keep that straight from the top. I don't know if you guys can see this, um, the, the width I'm sewing here, but it's, it's just very close. And what I do when I do a little seam like this is I watch to make sure that the my fabric is hitting the presser foot at exactly the same place. Yeah. So my fabric is right, you know, if the toe were here, it's right in the middle of the toe. So I just watch that. Never take my eyes off of it. <laughs> back stitch right there. I'm going to clip these threads. Now we're going to come down and we're going to sew along this bottom edge right here to catch this. So uh, you're just going to move your foot in and you're going to come in from the side and we're going to sew right along the bottom edge. Now on this one what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay my uh, my presser foot right along the edge of this. And just so, use that as a guide. Yeah, I always use something as a guide so that it will just stay. And I'm going to pull my pins out as I get to them. Like this. Perfect. And if you want to actually slide that other curtain off the rod, we will uh, we'll slide this one on so we can show how it goes because we are almost done. Now, one of the things, um, I used to make a lot of my curtains out of sheets. Oh, interesting. Because, you know, you needed a, like you have, would have a big window yes. or something like that, and there's no seam in that. Yeah. So, you know, don't be afraid to use sheets. Also, if you use a sheet, the uh, the top part of the sheet is already a rod pocket. Oh, that's true. And I was so I just a, a nice wide bottom hem, but it is a wide bottom hem too. So yeah. you can do it either way. And then, but the the hem on the bottom probably isn't wide enough for a rod. Yeah. But what I would do is I would come in about an inch and so and that's uh, hilarious. That's and good, just good make tent. that. All right. So I back stitched on that edge. You know, people ask me a lot in, in quilting. Um, why don't you backstitch? Well, it's because every seam is enclosed yeah, in another, another seam. One. So if you have a seam that's open on the edge, then you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to do that. Now these are little tension rods, and um, in my camper we have the regular um, curve around rods that mm -hmm. hook into the little arms. But these are kind of fun. Uh, you always want to thread these from the wide side uh, because this little side right here you can catch on this little thing right here. And how you adjust these is you just twist them and they get longer or shorter for how you want. And so I'm going to remove the, the cap off of this one. And sometimes if this is really rough, I'll put like a piece of tape over it, like oh. just, you know, uh, so scotch tape or something so it doesn't snag. So you want to fit your rod in there and just push it in. And then I'm just going to keep my hand, I'm going to keep my hand down here so it doesn't go off the end. And then... Just put that cap right. Put back that on. cap right back on, and then you have your little curtain is ready to go. Yeah. And this one, uh, isn't this cute? So cute. This you know, in the in the campers, they have these little teeny windows, and you're just like, but look at all those sewing know, things. It's going to be my sewing glamper. If you haven't guessed, my glamper's theme is sewing. Oh, sewing and Missouri Star quilting and Missouri Star. Actually. I love it. I love it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I've got a. A quilt we're making, some things to hang on the walls that we're making. So Our table's going to have sewing table legs, you Aww. know, like from an old um, antique that treadle. That would be so fun. Isn't that fun? So on the bed, half of the half of my little glamper, because it is um, because it's small, half of it when you come in the door, this half is a bed. So we're going to put a um, 
we're going to put a little, uh, oh, uh, probably a blow up mattress in there and make it up just like a bed. And one mm. of the things we're going to do is we're going to put tons of pillows. Yes. Just tons of pillows. We had a comment that says if you made it out of bedding, it would be a good way. The sheets out of bedding would be a good way to coordinate. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's that's a great, yeah. great idea. Great way to coordinate. Yeah. Um, awesome. uh, you know, every, there's so many good ideas out there. It's so true. So anyway, there's going to be tons of pillows. And uh, just because I think it's fun to show off all the fabric. We have a lot of sewing fabric, and it's fun to see all that. And so um, we are going to have some pillows. This one we made from actually just scraps that we had, but they have little sewing implements. And basically, um, years ago, I did a tutorial with Vanessa Christensen yeah, from VM Co. Yep. And um, we did this little flat pillow. Do we have that pillow here? Uh, we have one similar to it, not the original one, but oh, we have okay. this one that was the gradient. Yeah, actually, one. I think this is the original. Is it? It's pretty cool. If it's not, it's it's what I made from the leftover I roller. I thought hers was gray, but... Oh, it could be, could yeah. be, yeah. So anyway, um, we we uh, she did this cool thing, and we made a pillow out of it. And um, basically, they're just your little uh, ah, jelly, jelly roll, roll strips. strips, and we ironed them in half. And um, because they're pinked, they don't ravel. Yep. And so then we just laid them on top of each other, one after the other. So what you're going to do to start this is you're going to decide what size pillow you want. And Those, I think for us, yet, these aren't trimmed. No, nope, they're just some fat quarters. All righty. So pillow forms, if you're going to use a pillow form, they're generally 12 or 16 inches. And uh, now if you want to make a pillow that's your own size, you know, uh, you have to make a pillow a certain size for something, you can make it any size you want and just stuff it. But I'm going to make mine uh, 12. Let me see. How big is this? This is 10. Hmm, maybe we should make a tiny A pillow. little tiny? A tiny. Sure, why not? Um, the reason I'm, I'm thinking about uh, 10 is because... Well, I could use this as the back. I was yeah, thinking, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking I could cut. Match. I would could cut the front and the back at the same time. All right. So uh, I don't really want to cover that up. That's so pretty. Make it the back. Make it the back. Yeah. <laughs> it's All adorable. right. So we're going to come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to make this a twelve-inch pillow. And Misty, if you will start taking some of those strips off of there. I would love to. And uh, and just ironing them in half. Okay. I'll show you how we do this. This is this is a really fun way to make a pillow. And if you if you want pillow ideas, I'll tell you what. You know where you go. Every place everybody goes is Pinterest. That's true. Put in little pillow ideas. They're so um, cute. Susan who uh, Susan and Cindy run the retreat center and Susan Susan actually made this one and she made me one that was Two different fabrics, you know, it had a top fab fabric and a bottom, and then she put little motor ribbon across there and oh, tied a little cute. bow. Like she used, she used this little ribbon that she got on the, around the roll, and just put it, sewed it across the seam. I mean, such cute ideas. Those are some clever women over there. Mm -hmm. All right, let me count this 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. By the way, I just realized I am cutting this at 12 inches, and pillow forms are 12 inches. So you would want to add an inch on to your, uh, your original cut to make sure that, um, you know, to make sure that you have room for your seam allowances on there. Because your seam allowances are going to be a little bigger. Mine's just going to be... Really stuffed. <laughs> really All right. stuffed. Sometimes All right. we like it that way. There's one. So we have one strip. What we're going to do is we're going to come all the way to the top with this strip. Nope. I just remembered what I did. We're going to start from the bottom. The bottom. <laughs> we're going to be smart about this. <laughs> All right. So here we are at the bottom of our strip. I'm going to leave a little, a little space for sewing in my seam because I don't want that to catch in the seam. So I'm going to leave about a half an inch. And then I'm just going to cut this, and I'm going to sew it up a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to sew it right along there. And I'm using, I'm actually using, the reason I didn't pin this is because I'm using this pattern as a line, but I can actually measure that and pin that so we're actually sure. So we're going to come up a half an inch like this. And this is the only time you have to measure really on this. Well, some people are measurers, so, you know, you can measure however often you want, I guess. <laughs> So I'm just, this is looking pretty good on here like this. We're going to pin it. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch all along the top of this. Now let me move these out of the way so you can see me yeah, sew. Here, I'll take those. I just feel like there's so many pillows on set today. All right, here we go. Now, when you fold a two and a half inch strip in half. All right, Andrea, I missed your comment. Please My, comment again. What is it? Uh, oh, for the uh, measurement from the bottom. I'm not. I'm not sure. He's she not said, sure. "Please say my comment." I'm looking up here. <laughs> we missed your comment. Oh, I got. I made the mistake of wearing black. Tell Jenny to use a file. Oh, file for the. End. Oh, uh, uh, like a nail so file. So it doesn't snag. Ah. Perfect. Ah. Oh, that is a good idea. Great idea. All right. So now what we're going to do here, because these are two and a half inches, when you fold them in half, they're an inch and a quarter. So we're actually going to measure up three quarters of an inch here uh, on this. And I'm actually just going to make a little line right here so that I have a general measurement. So I am measuring three quarters of an inch. And let me just look to make sure that's actually going to work. Look how cool that is. So oh, three quarters so of an inch and it lays over enough to cover it. So we're coming up three quarters of an inch all the way along here. We're gonna make a little little mark. So we have some, uh, and this is where you, you wanna put that first, first row on straight, because if you don't, you're gonna make the new slanted pillow. You Which know what I mean? Which might it's just be adorable. A, it's adorable. I mean, it's just a new, new design, right? That's right. So uh, who knows? We're just making new designs here, but. All right, so now I'm gonna set this one. I'm gonna set my fabric right at, uh, right at the three quarters of an inch. And honestly, you can eyeball this. I mean, it's super easy. And I'm just gonna put a pin in here, both sides, and then zip it down. And we're just gonna keep doing this and fill up the whole pillow. It's very, very fun. All right, here we go. Gosh, a nail file on that curtain rod is a yeah, great that idea. Is so smart. It's so interesting how uh, how one little thing, you know, and it changes your whole. I only need this much. All right, perfect. There we go. Only so I'm gonna put this. Now. Yeah, I just need. I only need 12 inches, not even perfect. half. I'm cutting off my selvage edge right there, and I'm just going to lay this over here, and I'm gonna start eyeballing it because you know that's. How I am. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to sew this one. What's the name of this fabric, Misty? This is called Mama's Cottage. Mama's Cottage. It's so, so cute. So cute, isn't it? Yeah. One. All right. Now I, feel, okay. I feel like this is a three-ring circus going on. I'm trying to trying to switch. we got Misty ironing. Mom you can sewing, ignore me. This is the important cutting, stuff. We're just switching, pressing two and a half flipping. inch strips in half long ways. We're pressing and sewing. Yeah. Yeah. There's it's fabric good. flying everywhere. There's fabric flying it's everywhere. Fabric everywhere. Just how we like it. All right. Let me see here. I am. Are you sewing the raw edge together? No. I'm just see see here's our here's our raw edge here's our strip like this we're just ironing it in half this way and the raw edge we're just laying it on here and sewing it down so it's uh they'll have to see it on the next one I'm telling you I'm already she's sewing too down this quick. one <laughs> she's the fastest sewer in all the land all right. The nail file was, um, somebody suggested using a nail file for when, you know when we take the curtain rod and we pull the rubber end off and we slide it through, sometimes there's like little burrs on there and I generally tape it. And she suggested using a nail file to take those burrs off. That's a great idea. All right, now I'm actually gonna measure from the bottom and make sure I'm not getting wonky here. So I'm gonna measure up from the bottom right here. I'm gonna put a little mark. And it's, I think it's important to do this. Wait for it. Hang on. I, I can't remember <laughs> where I marked. I'm going to measure right 
here. Fix that. Fix that mark. There we go. I'm actually going to go to the three quarter line right here. I think, and the three quarter line. And the three quarter line. Because this is checkered fabric, it's doing weird things to my eyes. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, is this even ready? All right. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna put, stick this green, green. in. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm just gonna trim off my selvage. And what we did was we just. Oh, close my rotary cutter. <laughs> What we did was, is Misty just took the roll straight off the thing, folded it in half, ironed it, and now we're gonna cut this to fit on here just by laying it. Our measurement from the row before is uh, about three quarters of an inch. Do what works for you. But, um, so then we're gonna put this on here and sew it right down. It's gonna be... Did I use this fabric in a tutorial? It seems like I did. Yeah. It seems like so this cute. is so cute. Yeah. All right. So you do want to watch for, um, you know, you want to, like I wouldn't put all my blues together. Well, unless you were making a blue pillow. Right. But I would just go ahead and watch for all my. Trying to mix it um, up here. But... Yeah. Try to mix it up. And I'm actually, I'm really going to have to mark this every time just because of the checks throwing you off a bit <laughs> it's making my eyes crazy I feel like these projects are so fun because they're so satisfying to just have it done quickly you right know? exactly well and how cute is this gonna look yeah. on the so nice and scrappy well and honestly that's the deal Jake if you if you uh, this takes 12 inches of a two and a half inch strip and we're gonna do it over and over again so that'd be great so someone is also asking when you peel the the uh, layers back you will see the raw edge there that's kind of you will see the, the raw edge yeah. but yeah. what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna sew this to another one so we're gonna be sewing the sides down yeah and that will hold them down so like on that other pillow if you want to I mean, these, so see right here, when you take this seam, it sews all of them in place. Yeah. And so you can actually peel it up. All right, give me up. one sec. Show it again. Okay. So when you take this seam, it sews all these down right here. And so it sews them down laying flat. Yep. And you can actually peel this up and, um, and see the raw edge. But why would you? Yeah. It's like, you know. And I was, I have nobody, one nobody. that I've had for a couple years, and I wondered how it would hold up, like if it would start to fray. But, I mean, it's probably five years old, and it looks great. Yeah. It looks awesome. So. Yeah, Andrea, hopefully that answered your question. Oh, I hope so. There you go. If not, keep asking it. We'll, we'll keep answering. I can't figure out what other colors we need. Well, and honestly, once you get so many, so many colors. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, huh? It is raining hard it outside. It is raining hard. What's it like where you guys are? Because it is raining hard outside. We're getting a good springtime rain. We need it, too. We so. do need it. I don't know if you can hear it. It's like thunder, thunderation out there. Oh. Now, see this one? I'm just I'm try starting to sew this on. It's a little high, so I'm going to take it off and sew back again. Start it back. That's the real question. If people if people aren't outside, walking around on the streets, is there anybody from Hamilton that's tuned in right now watching? What is it? Who's tuned in? Someone from Hamilton's watching. No, no, no. I'm just wondering if there oh. is, since they can't be outside. Oh, that would be oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Here, I need a pink, too. Oh, you need a pink. Okay. The orange is good. I'm not quite. Let's do, quite do, that little part, that. Little, do that little part. There we go. Oh, there. I'm uh, I know. We're getting quite a pile here. I'm we're forever losing, losing my rotary cutter. All right. So I'm just going to lay this on here and measure and put another one. Look how cute this is. I know. It's so adorable. I love this. This line. So scrappy and happy. That's me. I know. Scrappy and happy. I'm going to make you a shirt that says that. Ezra says you guys are doing a good job. It's coming together. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Ezra. Ezra. Ezra's our working boy. He loves to work. He is a hard worker. 
All right, I think I feel like I need a blue in here. Oh, okay. here's this stripey one. Yeah, there we go. A blue before the pink. Mom, they asked if we have any jelly rolls on sale. Uh, oh. I don't know. We have we have tons of jelly rolls on sale. Yeah, we, sorry. We that usually, was we we usually have jelly rolls on sale in some, some capacity. So. Like every day. Yep. Pretty sure we sell jelly rolls. Don't know if they're on sale. Yeah. They're not all always on sale, but there's usually some. Have any other colors you're wanting in there? Well, I'm going to put that pink one on next. Okay, I've got pink. I've got this other paisley. Ooh. And then maybe... Maybe we'll do paisley. Just so everyone knows, mom's not in double speed. This is just normal it's speed. Just normal. <laughs> We're not fast forwarding this. This is real life. Uh, oh she's quick. And another stripe. I haven't even gotten to that pink yet. Oh, okay. All right, Misty, if you will cut me a 12-inch square okay. out of uh, this one right here. Actually, no. Cut me, let's see, we want 12, uh, two, two 12 by 12 by 14 rectangles. 12 by 14, all right. All right, what's going on? This so, is off, uh, this I'm is gonna off do script. The, I'm going to do script. the pillow. Well, how, how long are we on time? I don't want to take up everybody's morning. We are actually over our time, but I wasn't going to say anything because I don't want to revolt. We're oh. over time? Yeah, people will... will they, they, don't, they don't mind a little over. It's okay. All right, 12 by 14 is what you said, right? Well, gosh, we're doing big projects today. If we're, if we're still making a pillow and curtains and it's only been like... A little over half an hour. I know. Just do like just do good. two. Uh, just do a twelve inch square. And oh, we'll okay. do that. Wait, I need a, another red. <gasps> They're the oh, same. No. no, I can't have the same. Here, hold on. They're probably up hiding over here. Here's a blue. Here, blue. slide that down a little bit, mom, so we can see. Yeah, <gasps> it's there we the go. Same. We're the same almost again. there. Here, what about? I'll about, do this one. I'll just iron it real quick. Oh, that'd be beautiful. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need maybe two more. And I'll do this one, and we'll I'm going to get, get it ahead ready. To the back, but we really just needed to keep doing this, I guess. No, we just need one more. Okay. I just, you know, that's one of the things about me that um, I don't like. I don't like when the same, like, see how this is the same print, the same print. I don't like the same prints to be close to each other. So that's just a personal thing. I mean, you uh, do whatever you love. For me, that's totally just a personal thing. And I think this is going to do it right here. So we're going to put it up to here like this, and it will leave us like a little half an inch on the top as well. Right. So I'm going to sew down these two. Here's all this left. Okay. Look, looks like we're getting permission to go long today. What? <laughs> Thank you guys for being patient they, with our us. Our views are on our side. <laughs> we appreciate it. All well, right. I, I, can, I can definitely talk. Tell him to ask ask me some questions. I love questions. Wait, I need that little red one now. Oh. That you took away from me that I one, cut perfect I'm sorry. to length. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shame on you. 12 inch square, right? Yep. That's what you want me to do? Okay. There's a lot of people talking about all the different way things that they use to make curtains with. It's pretty pretty interesting. Oh yeah? Tell me some of them. Well, geez, now you're going to put me on the spot. Oh, I mean, oh, oh. there's been a lot. There's been a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Misty's working on that background. We got another strip over there. They also definitely want to see the back of the pillow. So on this pillow, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a square that's exactly the same size and sew it all the way around and leave a little opening for stuffing. That's what I'm gonna do with this one. If you wanna do the fold over back, which I love. I got wonky, I think we can fix it. <gasps> I was going too fast. If we wanna, oh, I don't know if we can fix that. On that little corner? Let's see what's it, one, two, three, four, <laughs> The other four, thing they wanna talk six, about so. is they said, talk about the birthday celebration coming up. Oh, birthday bash. Birthday bash, yeah. Um, all right, so on the back of this, 
So if you want to make a fold over back like this, then you're going to cut two pieces uh, that are, you know, like this piece is going to be two inches bigger and this piece is going to be two inches bigger. So they're both going to be 12 this way, but it's going to be like, you know, half your pillow plus about two inches. And then you just sew that down, but you're going to overlap them. So then you can just stick the pillow inside. And that just makes a fold over and that's really fast. You know what else works good for the back of a pillow is the front of a shirt. Oh, with buttons. Because it has buttons on that it and they're cute. so cute. I'm so just like, going to trim this up straight. So like I'll go to the thrift store and get, uh, you know, like men's shirts. And I just use that front piece for the back of the pillow because it's already got buttons. Awesome. So cute. All right. So now what we're going to do, Misty's uh, straightened this all up. We're going to put our fabric on here right sides together like this. And we're going to pin this because we don't want it to scoot around. Perfect. And this is the top. And I'm just going to put four pins in here. I know you're shocked. You're just you're just shocked. <laughs> oh, and I shouldn't have that. I shouldn't have that pin in my mouth, especially <laughs> while I'm talking. <laughs> I'm it. breaking all the rules just today. It. Just breaking all the rules. There's no we there's no quilting rules here. <laughs> no police. No, no quilt quilting police. No. Right. No. no. No pillow police. No. All right. We won't have that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to actually this will help me remember. I'm going to take two pins right here on the bottom, and I'm going to put one here. Sm Smitten Kitten says, Jenny Pinning? I know. I know. <laughs> and I'm going to put another pin here. This is the opening I'm going to leave right here. And so I'm going to start here, sew all the way around, and end here. And then um, this will be our, mm -hmm. this will be where we stuff from. Let me move that again. And so on this bottom particularly, you can feel that first fold through the fabric, and you want to make sure that you're not sewing on that first fold. All right, so now I'm just going to come up the side here. And then we're going to come across the top here. Somebody asked me a question. And they asked what my favorite block was, and I would probably have to say, I caught the disease from mom, the Dresden. Oh, oh no. I have Dresden disease too. I made too. a dress plate, but there's a there's a lot of good work. I want to make one of those 3D blocks. Have you the seen those? Blocks? The tumbling blocks. The tumbling blocks. Yeah, about? those are so cool. Oh, they're so fun. Those are fun. All right, now I just remembered one thing too. So we're we're making sure we don't catch the um. We're making sure we don't catch the the piece on the bottom. But we want to make sure we do catch the piece on the top. Because that's where that uh, oh, that the, little seam the is. fold on the bottom? Yeah, so you don't want to catch the fold in there. But on the top, you want to make sure you get your strip in there. So I'm going to take in a little deeper seam. Wait, can we, can we show that, what you're talking about? So um, on our last strip on the top, when you yeah. put it up here. So here's, our, here's the last strip on the... Oh, this is the top. She caught her strip. She caught her strip on the top. So this is the, I want to make sure. So right here, this right here, you want to make sure that you catch that strip in there because normally it's just going to be where you've sewn it on and you'll right. see the sew line. So I'm going to take about a half an inch seam and I'll, I'll open it up and show you guys so you know what I mean. So I'm going to take about a half an inch seam to make sure I caught that. And uh, take my pins out. And then one of the things I'm going to do here on these corners, I'm going to trim these corners a little bit because they're a little thick. And that will give me a better... Uh, Somebody was asking, they're wanting to make curtains for their sewing room, but they're wondering if there's a simple pattern that they could get. I wouldn't use a pattern. I would just yeah. do it this way. I would measure my window. Yep. Um, however wide it is, you're going to want it uh, that width plus half again. Or you can double it. Yeah. I mean, Either if, way, if you it want depends them fluffy. on how much gather you want. Okay, so look right here. Here, this is this is what I mean. So see this top part right here? I didn't catch that in the seam, so I'm going to have to come down even further because I don't want that seam line to show. This is our top strip, so when we had our square and we put that strip across the top and we sewed it on, we want to make sure that we cover up this seam. So I'm going to put this back in here, and we're going to go even lower. And do it again. 
yeah and it's always good to check that before uh before you undo your pillow so i am hoping it's going to be Was that clear, guys? let me know if we need to show that one more time and now i would never cut this off without without checking checking so i always check before i cut Okay, so see Perfect. here, we've cut, we've covered the seam, we've got that. So I'm going to trim off because this is a little bit extra up here, so I can lay my my ruler right here and just cut this off at the top so it stays nice and straight. And then we're going to turn it right side out. Here we go. I've got some polyfill. Ooh. I love these little pillows. And they're so cute. I just love pillows. I, I think pillows are... Well, it's such an easy way to, to make any space a theme or have, have its own little feel, you know? Yeah. I know um, my friend Lynn Hagmeyer, she makes these little pillow covers. And it's so you can change out your pillows yeah. for seasons. And I just think that's so Which smart. Is, oh, it's so cute. Those little so, oh, there's here's... a cool, one. There's a cool uh, comment that says there's 23 girls from Saudi Arabia watching. From wow. Saudi Arabia, hello. That's amazing. Okay. Oh. Don't iron on that. Woo. <clears throat> Thanks. So. She's a wild woman. My goodness. <laughs> I almost wired, ironed <laughs> on the cutting mat. That would have been terrible. That's hilarious. That Hello, Saudi been... Arabia. Mom. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I love that. Uh, people, people just sew and quilt everywhere. Everywhere. It's amazing. All right, now I'm using a little pin, and I'm pulling out the corners on here. That means I'm just sticking it in, grabbing a little bit of that fabric and pulling it out. You can use a pencil inside to go ahead and pick it out. just want them to look nice I and just, sharp. I just want them to be out. All right, now I'm going to iron my sides. And especially iron down this top. Now this little top strip is wanting to, um, it's wanting to flip up. And so if it doesn't lay down when I uh, steam the heck out of it, and I say that with all the love I can muster, <laughs> if it doesn't lay down, then I would put a little piece of um, heat and bond to hold that top one. Yeah, just a little, a little, some little, a little bit of a. You know, just an adhesive. So cute, yeah. Or you could tack it. You could or tack, tack it, it yeah. yeah. So look how cute this is. That's adorable. All right, let's put some stuff in there. All right, awesome. now, if we had a pillow form, we would have. I would have made a double back, or a zipper back, or a button back, and I would have just slid it in the pillow. But this way, we can just stuff it in here. Yep. And uh, so cute. This stuff grows and grows. I like to start up in the top corners first. And a lot of people use a, um, somebody else is probably going to have a better idea. Because I'm a make do girl, I just come up with using things that I have at home, you know. And uh, I, I use like a, a skewer, like a kebab. Oh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> just stuff it in there. I use like the end of a wooden spoon. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. too. <laughs> it works. Yeah, I bet I bet there's going to be a lots of lots of little ideas. Yep, it's so so cute. I love this. Pillow. And then you just squish it down like that. Is that you a just is squish. there a is there a technical term for that? <laughs> That's just part of the process. Smushing is the technical term. Yep. You're gonna smush it. Well, and that's what, if you buy a pillow form, it's already smushed. Yeah, it's already you know, prepped for you. It's ready to go. It's, it's already been through that whole process. Yeah, yes. for sure. <laughs> All right, so now... Wait, I'm going to stick my hand in here and get some of this up in this corner. Looks awesome. This is a custom double double squished pillow. Double squished. Yeah, here, let me see. I'm going to I'm just going to squish it a little more. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Look how nice that it is. Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> now all we got to do is just hand stitch this little place closed right here. Yep. And we are done. Actually, okay. the other thing you could do, I've done this before, in a pinch, use that little tiny quarter inch oh. uh, steam -a seam tape, iron mm -hmm. it on there, peel it off, iron it together. It's ready to go. In a pinch. Yep. yep. You're ready to awesome. go. So Thank today you. we've talked about Q pillows. Great way to accessorize. Great way to change the look of your home if you want to update something for spring. Right. You know, again, cut your cut your fabric any size. If you need a giant one, make a giant one. If you want a round one, make a round one. You Absolutely. know, I mean, it's just 
Uh, don't be afraid to experiment and try and have some fun with this. And then curtains, just a quick recap on our curtains. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna measure your window, uh, add an inch for your hem on the bottom, add about three inches on the top for your pocket. You're gonna measure the width of your window and uh, half it again. So if it's 15 inches, you're gonna take half of 15 and add it to the end so then it will be whatever that adds up to. I'll have to get my phone calculator out. 22 and <laughs> half, I think. It's a good thing, good thing, good thing I have Misty here. <laughs> And I would actually round that up to 25 20. inches and just... That's a big uh, round. You went just to 23? No, I would just round just, it up to 25. Well, and I like a fuller curtain, I too. too. I like, I, you know, I like them... A little more gather. A little more gather. So a lot of times I'll just double. So if my win window's 15, I'll cut it 30. Yeah. And I always cut it. Now, this is a little a little key. So uh, so so where is uh, that piece of fabric? I need a whole piece of fabric. Here we go. Got a bunch here. So let me just show you this real quick before we stop. Oh. So I'm always going to cut the fabric this way. So the width of the fabric, I'm going to cut the length I need it this way. I am not going to buy like four yards just to cut a 15 inch piece out of. What I'll do is I'll measure, I'll measure the length of my window and if it's, if it's uh, 20, then I'm going to cut this and if I need it wider, then I will sew it together at the selvage. Smitten kitten's leaving. And Aww. do two, two that way. All right, see you later kitten. Anyway, um, so that's what I do. I'm gonna, always going to use the width of the fabric cut in cutting my curtains rather than cutting them long way. Long ways. Um, unless I need really, really long ones, and then I will cut them long way because they're going to need to be wide too. Yeah. So anyway, curtains and a pillow. Hope you enjoyed today. Um, really I, fun. I hope some of you I are able notes, to come to the notes. retreat. We still got spots available, and we yeah. just never have spots. Yeah. Come have fun with us at the retreat. It's, it's going to be a great time. And like we said, Bev McCullough will be there. She's going to teach some really fun classes. I'll be there in my glamper. She'll be there with her glamper. <laughs> Um, and hopefully we'll get to go live and show some of those. We're oh, going yes. to really try, like we've said in the past, our internet here in Hamilton. It's small town America, so we don't have the greatest internet, but we are going to try so hard mm -hmm. to be able to show you guys that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Wait, let me hold this as oh, we yeah. end. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Have a great day today. We'll see, see you, you later, later, guys. Yep. See you.